Hey everybody, this is Dream, and today we have a six-game Major League Baseball slate that starts at 7 o'clock. Uh, we have a pretty interesting slate here. We do have some weather issues in the Cincinnati-Baltimore game and the uh, Milwaukee-New York Mets game. Both these games have potential for uh, delays and even postponements. Uh, we won't know much until closer to the game times, though, so be sure to check the weather for those two games. Everything else does look good, and there's plenty of good options across the board today. So let's go ahead and get into the slate here. Before I get started, can you guys smash that like and subscribe button? It helps the channel a lot. Really do appreciate it, guys. Uh, we're going to start with our pitchers and our P1 options. Uh, our top P1 option is Spencer Strider, who is facing Minnesota today. Uh, he also has really good strikeout stuff, and he's been pitching inconsistent recently, but he has he is facing the best strikeout team when it comes to total strikeouts on the season in Minnesota, so I really do like his potential here. Uh, Luis Castilla is also on in play as a contrarian option off of Strider. Uh, he has got really good upside here, though he's been inconsistent throughout the season as well. Uh, but he has nice upside and good strikeout stuff most of the time. And he's facing a good opponent to use a top-tier pitcher against. Maybe in our P2 options, uh, we're going to look at Verlander, who has been extremely inconsistent this season. As you can see, every other game he's been good. Uh, so if that trend continues, this is a good matchup for him. Uh, to have another good game at, so I do like him as a c good option. Uh, you know, he is a P2 option, and uh, a good alternative to him is Detmers for the Angels, who has been inconsistent throughout the season, but he's had three straight really good games, and as long as he's pitching well, he's also done these against really good teams, so as long as he's pitching well, he's in play. I do think some Chicago White Sox players are in play today, but they do seem somewhat risky, and he has been pitching better re lately. And then two other options at P2 are kind of Hail Mary options are Andrew Heaney and Dylan Case. Uh, they both have some interesting matchup upside here, but they're both in risky territory. Uh, maybe into our catchers here. It is a very deep position today for this uh, slate. The deepest probably position, in fact, with Rutschman being our top overall option. He has really good home run metrics, though he has been a bit of a slump lately. Uh, he has nice metrics for this matchup, though his price is fairly expensive. Sean Murphy is a good contrarian option off of him, as he's hitting the ball pretty well lately. He is back from injury, and it looks like he's good to go here. And if he does draw the start, he'll be a good play. If he doesn't draw the start, then Travis Darno would be a good play if he come, ends up being the starter instead. Uh, then we'll look at Texas, uh, Jonah Heim, and also Matt Garver, uh, or sorry, Mitch Garver. I don't know if I said Matt. Anyhow, both these guys, uh, have really good metrics here. I think, uh, Garver is actually better, though he's a little bit, uh, less consistent lately. His metrics are better for this matchup, but Heim is also in play. And, uh, you could also consider Cal Raleigh, Francisco Alvarez, and Yasmani Grandal on this slate. It's a very deep slate for catcher. It's pretty interesting from that perspective. Maybe in the first baseman, we're going to look at Otani as our top tier option. Uh, he has just absolutely crushed the ball lately. Uh, don't You can ignore the fantasy notes that are on DraftKings website because they are just showing us uh, pitching fantasy points and not his bats, but he has had a streak of massively good games. Uh, he has had some great, uh, he's averaging, I think, like 14 fantasy points per game uh, as a hitter So in the last 10 or so, so he looks like a really solid option today. Home run or not, he's hitting the ball really well. Um, then we'll look at Spencer Steer. He's a very good cheaper option uh, comparatively, as he has really good home run metrics today. Though he is a little bit pricey, but he has a good matchup. But this game is in danger. Uh, and then a uh, good uh, value play here. If Kevin Newman starts, he'd be in play. Uh, he's not a big home run hitter, but he definitely has hit the ball pretty good recently. And he's having some good fantasy point games. And we don't need him to have a crazy game in order to pay off here. You know, 7 to 15 fantasy points will do. And especially at this cheap price. Just to help you pay up for other options. Uh, Pete Alonzo, Matt Olson, Spencer Torkelton, uh, Ty France, and Dan Vogelbach are all in play at first base as well. It's also a pretty deep position today. So moving to second base, uh, this is where the cheap positions somewhat dry up. Uh, we'll start with Matt McClain, who is a core play for me today. He just draws incredible metrics today. He is hitting the ball extremely well lately. I like his upside, and he has great potential here. Though he is fairly expensive, I do think he draws great metrics here. Uh, and an alternative to him is Ozzy Albies. For Atlanta, as he has drawn, uh, he has hit the ball extremely well recently, and he's hitting home runs, uh, and he's even getting stolen bases. So he's got lots of good metrics for this game. I like his upside, though he is about the same price, a little bit more expensive than McLean, who I like a little bit better. 
You could also consider Jeff McNeil and Tim Anderson at this position, though they do seem high risk in this particular slate. Maybe in third base, we'll look at Josh Jung for Texas. Now, he draws great metrics for this game. Despite the fact he's been in a bit of a slump, he has top-tier metrics today. If he had been hitting better recently, I'd probably make him a core play as well. Uh, but there's also some good options at this position, so he's not a must-play. Uh, Kevin Newman can also play third base today. And then Austin Riley is in play for a Atlanta. He has hit the ball really well recently. He's got some nice home run upside, and he's drawn some good potential here. Uh, we'll also look at uh, Ramon Urias, uh, Eugenio Suarez, and Nick Senzel as all kind of value plays at this position. All those guys are in play, but they're all somewhat risky in their own situations. Maybe the shortstop, uh, Matt McLean can also play shortstop if you want. Uh, then you could also look at Ella De La Cruz, who has absolutely just been a monster on the base pass so far this season. And he's come in with a bang. Now, he had a bad game in his third game against Atlanta. Uh, but he should be bounced back today. Uh, he's just sitting in the box extremely well, and the metrics are definitely in his favor today. He can also play third base, but I don't think he's really necessary there. Uh, another good option, though, at this position is Javier Baez, who's pretty cheap, and he's got a good matchup metrics here. Though he has been slumpy throughout the season, he hasn't hit the ball very well, but he has home run potential here. Uh, you could also look at Tim Anderson and Willie Adamez at this position, though both of those guys seem somewhat high risk. As for outfielders, uh, Acuna Jr., uh, Otani, Trout, and uh, Spencer Steer are my top-tier options. Uh, and also Lewis Robert, sorry. All five of these guys have great metrics for these matchups. Uh, though Steer, uh, sorry, Robert and uh, Trout probably are the weakest of the five. I do think that all five of them are in play, though. But I do think the value plays in outfield are really good today. Uh, starting with Austin Hayes for Baltimore, who is just hitting the ball. Uh, pretty well this season at 318 batting average. Even though he hasn't been quite as good the last few games, he has home run metrics here. And occasionally, uh, Baltimore batters look really good. And this particular day, this is definitely true. Anthony Santander is also a core play. He has been somewhat boomer bust throughout the season, but he is really hitting the ball well. He's had five home runs in the last six games. Uh, I don't necessarily think he'll hit another home run today necessarily, but he does have the metrics for it. And he is a core play on this slate. Uh, Nemo is also in play for Mets. As he draws really good metrics for this game, he's hitting the ball really well. He's even hitting some home runs lately, which gives him an added bonus. But uh, I don't necessarily expect that, but he does get hits, and he's a very good, a solid batter. Hernandez, uh, Toscar for C Seattle, is in play as well today. He tends to be a boomer bust play because he tends to either strike out or home run <laughs> a lot of times. Uh, but he is hitting the ball better uh, lately. He's also having some three-hit games, though he's also had a lot of zeros. Uh, but I do think he's in play on this particular slate. I also like uh, Ezekiel uh, Duren for Texas. I think he's really been hitting the ball well so far this season, uh, especially lately. His batting average has risen up. He's also hitting home runs now. I like his potential here. He's got a nice matchup here in Detroit. Uh, Taylor Ward is kind of a Hail Mary play today. Uh, very borderline Hail Mary. He's hitting the ball well, uh, but this matchup is not super ideal. But it is solid enough that he's definitely in play, and he draws good metrics. Uh, Michael Harris is also in play for Atlanta. Uh, in fact, most Atlanta bats tend to look pretty good most days. Uh, but he looks really solid today. He's finally hitting the ball better recently as he's uh, really improved his average in the last week or two. So as long as he keeps hitting the ball well, he's going to be in play. He also has stolen base potential. With that said, guys, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. And have a nice day, guys.